Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 30th of 2022, well, it is titled the light, the dark and the dusty. So what do we see here? Well, this is a part of the cave nebula. And we see a lot of the region around it in this very red color, generally associated with hydrogen gas. And when the gas is ionized, then it will emit specific colors and hydrogen emits red light. So essentially the electrons are ripped off of the atoms and then they recombine to give off very specific wavelengths of light. So this is an example of what we call an emission nebula as it shines by emitted light of very specific wavelengths based on the elements that make it up. And like most things in the universe, it is primarily made of hydrogen and helium. So most of what we're going to see is hydrogen gas here. Although there are often times when we look at other specific elements as well as a way of also studying uh, nebulae like this, but predominantly 90% of the atoms will be hydrogen. Now we also see off to the right a reflection nebula. A reflection nebula is caused instead by dust. So gas causes the emission nebula. Dusty material, bigger particles, cause a reflection nebula. And this is generally found around hot young stars. And the dust scatters the light from those stars, primarily bluer and shorter wavelengths. And the other light makes it through. So it gives kind of a halo around some of the stars quite different than we see with the emission nebula. Now the other type of nebula that we see is the dark nebula. So dark dusty areas. And you can see all sorts of them around here where there are no stars or very few stars. This is also caused by dust. But this is where the dust is denser. So a reflection nebula would be less dense. And the light can actually make it through when you put enough dust in one place, then you can become opaque, you can block out the light from behind and not be able to see through it. So here we cannot see directly, at least not in visible light, what is going on inside these dark dusty areas. However, we can use things like radio waves and infrared waves that have longer wavelengths that are able to penetrate through the dust and give us a peek into these interiors. And we find that whole areas like this are star forming regions, so regions of star formation. And all of the things that we've looked at, all of the different types of nebulae are associated with star formation at its various stages from various or very earliest stages with the dark nebulae before the star has even fully formed to later stages with the emission and reflection nebula when the stars have actually broken out of their cocoons and are now beginning to illuminate the region around them. So that was our picture of the day for November 30th of 2022. It was titled The Light, the Dark, and the Dusty. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a super numerary. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.